All right, this is the next in our statistics with R, and what we're going to do is uh, look at this. A, a, ver a test for a specific blood factor level has been uh, devised such that for uh, adults in the UK and Ireland, the population of adults in the UK and Ireland, the test score has a mean score of 100 and a standard deviation of 10. Now, a clinical research organization is carried out. Sorry, for that mean of 100, that's the entire population, okay? Now, of all people, all healthy, all adults in the UK uh, and Ireland. Um, uh, clinical research is carrying out research on blood factor levels for sufferers of a particular disease. This is in keeping with our scenario from the other examples. Uh, a study, we, so we have 15 randomly selected cases in Scotland and this is on a uh, 15 uh, Scottish patient, patients and we have a sample of 15 to represent the Scottish population in Edinburgh and we have 14 patients in Ireland and that represents the patient the population of sufferers in Ireland or in Dublin so what we're going to do is just test that are both uh, uh, this, um, both groups the same so the clinical research organization wishes to determine if there's significant difference between the two groups of patients now but what we have to do first off is check that both data sets uh, have equal variance actually that's badly phrased actually what I should say is can we assume that the both populations that they're drawn from uh, have equal variance so that's better a, a slightly better way of putting it uh, the the null hypothesis is that the variance of patients in Scotland, so Scottish patients, equals the variance of Irish patients. Okay, so our our, our sample is drawn from the Scottish population of as. Uh, patients of this disease or sufferers of this disease and the alternative is the uh, the the other group is the Irish popula uh, the, uh, the other sample is the from the Irish population of sufferers the alternative hypothesis is that Scotland I'm just going to say Scott but I mean Scottish all sufferers of Sc in Scotland is not equal to Ireland okay so equal variance or not equal variance now this is so the test procedure is called VAR test okay that's the function we're going to use in R okay now uh, just as a sort of quick remark this is related to this idea of a ratio if A is equal to B then we can say a over B is equal to 1. So this tests work on the basis of ratios, variance ratios. So the null hypothesis essentially can be written as, uh, let's do this here, H0 variance for Scotland divided by variance for Ireland is equal to 1 and the alternative is that the variance, sorry that's not a variance there this is variance uh, the variance for Scotland divided by the variance for Ireland not equal to 1 okay so that's the variance ratio formulation for uh, testing variance okay so perform an, appro an, an appropriate test okay now uh, equal variance now okay this let's go back here for a second let's go into R so you have two data sets here I'm going to use both of these data sets these are from uh, an R file called exams dash exams data one dot R it's on my website there somewhere I'll put the link on the YouTube description uh, where to find it it's a uh, something uh, actually bit Lee R videos capital V capital R somewhere like that and that's where you can find this data set so something like that it might be exams dash one or something like that so um, what we have so I have it on built in R or uh, ready to go in R this is an old test I was doing so dash 88 let's call it uh, dash 88 uh, that's Scotland and dash what is it now 79 is it 
79 is Ireland. So Scott, S for Scotland, I for Ireland. Or Edinburgh, uh, sorry, no, yes, yeah, Scotland is that 88, and Ireland is or Dublin and Edinburgh. You can go on E and D there as well. 79, okay. Now, the procedure is var.test and Scotland and Ireland. Okay. And let's run the procedure there now. So simply just uh, type in the name of the two data sets. Okay. And there we go. F test to compare two variances. Okay. So S and I, um, the p value there is very high, not 0.93. Essentially, what we said, yep, yeah, the variances of the two populations can be um, considered to be the same. Okay. Uh, it actually states here alternative hypothesis true ratio of variances is not equal to one that's the alternative so the null is true variance of ratios is equal to one okay so null uh, true variance let's go that again null hypothesis true variance ratio is equal to 1. So we have high p-value. There it is up there. Very high p-value. Okay. So in this case, fail to reject null. Hypothesis. And can assume a Scottish a patient population and Irish patient population have equal variance. You just write in something like that. That's your conclusion there. Okay. Also, you might look at the 95% confidence interval. Okay. So this is the confidence interval for the uh, variance ratio. And the thing about that is you're sort of saying, crudely speaking, it's not exactly how you should interpret this, but crudely speaking, you're 95% sure that the variance ratio is between 0.3 and 2.89. Uh, and the thing is, you're, the thing you're really looking at there is that one is in that range of values. Okay, that's the thing you're looking at there. If one was not in that range of values, then you would sort of say no, no, uh, one being the uh, variance ratio under equality. Um, if it was not in that range of values, you would reject. It is in that range of values, not 0.311 to 2.889. Uh, so fail to reject. Okay. Also, you got the variance. Uh, the estimate there, variance, uh, variance, ratio of variances, not 0.59, very close to 1 as well. Okay, so far so good. Now, what we're going to do is look at the question here. We've actually sort of gone into it, but we actually have to ask, answer a couple of questions on this. So, uh, let's go down here. Perform an appropriate high formal test to determine whether or not, okay, we have done that VAR test. State the null and alternative. There we have that done there as well. Two marks, good. Uh, what's your conclusion of the test based on the result of the p-value? Yeah, we've done that. And 95% confidence interval, yeah, we have that as well. So this is the, that uh, part of the procedure done. The test, the test is completely answered. Let's just say for argument's sake, I decided to go and do 99% confidence interval. Let's just say I, I asked something like that instead. What do you do there? You go var dot test s and i conf dot level equals let's say not point nine nine ninety nine percent confidence level there you go or confidence interval and there you go as well it doesn't really change anything it only changes the confidence interval here the only thing that this has an effect on really is this part here okay you could do some other things as well you could do a greater than test uh, so alternative is greater 
and this is sort of says that the true ratio of variances is uh, greater than one. That was to say the Scottish uh, ratio would be higher, or the Scottish variances uh, would be higher than the Irish variance. Uh, you fail to reject the null hypothesis here. Uh, in that case, that's not what we were asking here, but just it's sort of handy to sort of know uh, these uh, sort of other sort of scenarios just in case that comes up in exams. Okay, let's leave it there.